Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Vinny's Vittles. This week we're making my popping chicken. Now just to kind of give you an idea, it is a stuffed jalapeno stuffed in a chicken breast wrapped in bacon piece of deliciousness and you're going to love it and we're going to call it Vinny's Popping Chicken. Now I took a lot of different recipes that I found online and combined them together to make them Vinny's so they'd be something that you would enjoy. Now our ingredients that we're going to be using this week is just uh, chicken breast, we're going to be using a pepper jelly, some uh, Memphis pit barbecue rub, some salt and pepper to taste, we're going to be wrapping in bacon, we're going to use, I grated up about two cups of cheese, we uh, de-seeded six jalapenos, and we're going to put some cream cheese in there too. So it's going to be a fantastic mix. And as always, you can find the complete recipe listed below in the description box. Now let's get started. All right, guys, we're going to start out by making the dip that's going to go inside the jalapenos. So I took one block of cream cheese. It's an eight ounce block of cream cheese. I let it set out to get to room temperature. Now I'm going to add in the uh, shredded cheese. And I did about a half of a big block and it comes out to you know, just about two cups worth. Now we're gonna add in the Grill Mates Memphis Pit Barbecue Rub, and we're just gonna combine that together. Now we're just gonna mix those ingredients together to make our dip. Now again, I set the uh, cream cheese out to room temperature so that it would be easy to mix. That barbecue rub smells really good. All right, we took six jalapenos and sliced them in half, like I said. We de-seeded them. Now we're going to stuff six of the halves and then we'll take the tops and just kind of crunch them back down on there together. So you just want to make sure they're nice and full. All right, that's four. So we need two more. All right, so now we've got them stuffed. So we're going to take the other pieces and put them right back on the top. So it's back looking like a closed jalapeno. But it's just going to be stuffed with some goodness. All right, guys, we took six chicken breasts. We trimmed all the fat and all the grossness off of them. And then we'd fillet them open so that we could do that. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, we've got the salt and pepper that we put on for taste. We're gonna take the jalapeno. We're gonna put it all the way at the fold and then we're gonna roll that chicken breast over so that it's nice and flat on there and just kind of mesh it together. Can y'all see how that looks? Just like that. And then we're gonna set it to the side. Now let's do the same thing again. We'll take the filleted breast. We're gonna add the salt and pepper for taste. And we're gonna take the pepper, put it right on the crack, fold her over. All the way on the inside, just like that. All right, guys, so now we've taken our chicken breast, we've stuffed the jalapeno in there. Now it's time to start wrapping it with bacon. Now you wanna make sure that you use a nice thick cut bacon, bacon and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you wrap it good and tight. So when you pull the bacon, you just wanna take it, and I like to wrap the entire piece of chicken with the bacon. And again, a good thick cut bacon is the best. Just kind of stretch it and pull it and wrap it around the chicken so it's nice and sealed up good. And it may take you several pieces of bacon as you're going around to get it done because these are big chicken breasts. But again, we want every piece of chicken covered with some bacon. Just keep wrapping. And then what you may want to do at the end, or what I've been doing, is just taking a toothpick and kind of sticking it through. And you can feel it, it'll stick the pepper and the chicken, and it'll keep all of it together so it'll be nice and good. All right, let's repeat that process again with this last one. 
take the bacon, start on the end, stretch it around the chicken. All the way around. As May May says, bacon is flexible. It'll stretch. Now, I gotta be honest with you, there's a line of people waiting to taste test today. Everybody's pretty excited about this recipe. So I, I think it's gonna be a good one. Nice and tight, wrap it around the bacon. Then we're gonna take the toothpick, stick it through, stick in the pepper, and on the back side to hold it in place. And then we're gonna put it on there. Now, we got this in a, on a cookie sheet with, a, with a, a little rack that sits on top of it to make sure that all the grease will drip away. Now, these last three that we did after we put them in the oven, we're gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees, okay? We're gonna leave them in for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna pull them out and check them. And we, I got a, a pepper jelly from Jared that I wanna try that he got me for Christmas. So we're gonna smother three of these with that pepper jelly when they come out just to kind of give them a nice crunchy glaze in the oven. And we'll put them back in for about 15 more minutes and then check them and they ought to be good to go. So let's get them in the oven and get them started. All right, guys, we pulled them out of the oven. We left them in a little bit longer than I meant to to start with, but I think they needed it. So we put them in the oven for about 45 minutes on 400 degrees. Now we're gonna take the pepper jelly and it's really, it's called a red jalapeno glaze. Uh, that Jared got me for Christmas. He picked up in Texas somewhere. And it's almost the same texture as a pepper jelly. So it's kind of thick like that. And we're just gonna glaze the top of the chicken and the bacon with that sauce, all right? And then we're gonna put it back in the oven for about five or 10 minutes just to let that glaze get right. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna add that on there now. So I'm just gonna use a spoon and I just kind of stirred it up good and then we're just gonna kinda of spoon it on here and spread it so that we get a decent little coverage of it all across the top. Just like that. And when we put this in the oven, it's gonna just kinda of crystallize right on the top of this and it ought to be good stuff. I think it will be anyway. I hope y'all don't mind us experimenting on y'all, but I just like to try different things. I've always told y'all I'm a putter togetherer more than a chef anyway. And I like condiments on my stuff to try out good stuff. Now I know I originally said I was only gonna put this on three of them, but after sampling this stuff, it's going on all of them because it's good. Now I had a lot, I'm gonna give you a secret too. That uh, cream cheese mixture that I made was a lot more than I actually needed. So you know what we did? We put it in a bowl and ate it like it was a cheese ball with some pepper jelly on a cracker. <laughs> it was good. Everybody's already sampled that. So they're kind of anticipating what this is gonna be like just based on that. And I gotta tell you, this whole place smells like this stuff and everybody's fired up. I'm gonna need a little bit more. Don't quite have enough. I don't really know where Jared got this stuff, but it's good. It says it's a Texas thing, so. I can just tell them the name of it anyway, can't I, Jordan? Should be able to, yeah. All right. So it's made by Fisher and Weiser, maybe? Red Jalapeno Glaze. And I'll show it to you so you can see what it looks like. Let's see, www.jelly.com. You might want to try it. 
All right, so we've got them covered in the in the glaze. Now we're gonna put them back in the oven between five and 10 minutes. I'm gonna check them and make sure they're ready and then we'll be ready to taste it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. We've taken it out of the oven. We left it in the oven with the glaze for just about five minutes and we pulled it out. And I think that's perfect. I got with me Jordan and Caleb today and they're pretty anxious to <laughs> test this recipe. So. We've already sliced it. We're fixing to take a bite, so I know you're gonna like it. All right, you ready? Yeah, ready. You haven't sliced yours yet? I got it right here. I'll, oh, I'll you're gonna it. put the whole body in No, we'll... Okay. I'm gonna try and put we'll make it work. Oh, oh good Lord. Just go. Good. All right, here we go. All right. Oop. Oh, yeah. The chicken is perfect. Mm. The pepper is still a little crunchy, but not too hot. The glaze, the glaze is so good. The glaze gives it a little kick. Mm. It is a good call on the glaze. Oh, oh yeah. We're, I, I was real iffy about it. Oof. Not no more though. That is fine. It's great. Mm. Mm. All right, guys, you're gonna want to try this one. I promise, it's a good one. And the good thing about it is, if you're on a low carb diet, you can eat all this and not even have to worry about it. It's delicious. Now, every week, Vinny's Vittles comes to you on Saturday mornings at 11 o'clock Central Time. Y'all don't smack too loud on camera, okay? <laughs> at 11 o'clock Central Time, if you want to watch us every week, be sure to click that red subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every week when Vinny's Vittles comes back. <laughs> hey, we love you guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next time on Vinny's Vittles. Bye now. Mm, oh my God, you're so good. <laughs> That's so good. You're also wrong. <laughs>